Okay, I know I've been gone for a while, but I'm going to make a good series of videos again, hopefully soon. But anyways, um, this first video, I there's a lot of things to address and a lot of stupid people to put up there, especially on the Xbox One fanboys, the ones who are defending Microsoft's DRM policies, and yeah, certain news is bringing that whole mess back up. But every time I hear this as an excuse... The, so if you remember that originally Microsoft designed the Xbox One to be always online, meaning that every game would be controlled by online DR. Correct. So overall, people hated this more than Hitler, uh, somehow ignoring that it's the exact same system used by the savior of all humanity. <laughs> PC and Steam. Steam, yeah, yeah. Steam. Yeah. Uh, hypocrisy notwithstanding, gamers worried that any interruption in connectivity would prevent them from playing games they'd properly purchased. Mm -hmm. I do not even know where to fucking begin. Uh, first of all, I put this picture back up just deliberately. See, here's the difference between Steam and console games and the hypocrisy of that entire statement that does not make a lick of sense and all the people who keep saying well steam you did it why can't microsoft first of all microsoft is already doing it right now and so is the playstation 4 and the playstation 3 and the xbox 360 as well as the wii and the wii u it's being implemented for the downloadable games. See, when it's the downloadable games, we know what we're doing. We're subscribing to a service in which we download a game, and then we get that game. And what people were mad about was the disc copies. See, only one game was like that, and that was the Call of Duty 2, I believe. Or maybe a few, but... They weren't exactly successful under the PC market because, you know, they required Steam to work. But it's the physical disc. Steam is a downloadable service compared to a disc in fucking hand sort of deal. And people are always trying to match Steam with a physical copy. It, it, it's like trying to put a JPEG and put it into the same account, uh, in the same category as a fucking lamp. It's a JPEG picture. A lamp. A lamp is a physical thing you click on and off. You can't hit, there's no delete button to make that lamp go away. Uh, except maybe the tr there is a trash bin, but that's in the front of your house and that's up to you. But a JPEG, you know, you can get rid that's a, f a digital copy. That is not a physical copy. And yet when they're saying, oh, but the same, but, it, but the two are using the same service under a desk. See, people were mad that they were buying $60 for a physical copy of a desk that they paid for. And then tell them it's only a rental when they have it in their fucking hands. Right there. And of course, right now, the main reason why people are buying the, di uh, the physical copies more than the digital is basically because it's just faster installing. Because, you know, you also got the downloading issues to go with and then the actual installing process to go with. Now, like... It say the new game Grim Fandango which remastered which just recently came out that's a digital only copy and in fact there's a whole bunch of indie games that are digitally only and of course you know it'll be a waste of blu-ray space to put half those indie game titles on a blu-ray because they're just really small games if I delete them off my PlayStation 4 they're not on my PlayStation 4 again I can probably reinstall it or if I, you know, delete it and then got rid of my entire account, because, you know, I'd be a fucking idiot to do so, you know, I lost all that shit. Those are, that is a digital bargain. But when it comes to a physical bargain, it's a completely different area. And Steam, they do not have 
download onto your Blu-ray. I mean, yes, you can download the copy and then literally put put it on a Blu-ray disc, but they don't have, you know, you, you hit a special button and then automatically a disc comes out of your computer and there's the entire game disc right there ready to install on your computer. The two are not the same at all. Learn something, please.